This is the first installment of the Tuesday Teardowns. What's up, Steph Cunnington here from Niche Site Project. People really love teardowns and I like to do them. I'm gonna try and keep sort of a regular format. So I'll share the report from SEMrush or at least the uh, most basic information so we could get kind of an idea on the traffic and then we'll also go ahead and look at what I like what I don't like, some tips and suggestions. So be sure to stick around for all of it. By the way, if you're new here, take a look around, take a look at some of the other videos. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Let's go over to the computer and get started. We are looking at football snack helmets. Now, this is a very, very niche site. And by the way, if you enjoy these teardowns, please leave a comment below. Just say, yeah, I wanna see more of these teardowns. Let me know what you like and what you don't like as well. So. This site is one that has been outed. If this happens to be your site, and if you want this video taken down, just shoot me an email and let me know. I have uh, you know, professional integrity, and I only show sites that have already been publicly shown, so this is one of them. Here's how these are going to work, and at the very beginning, I'm gonna show you some of the details from some rush, just the high level. So we have football snacks, uh, sorry, footballsnackhelmets.com, uh, organic search traffic. And by the way, some rush is just an estimate. So the organic search traffic says 440 per month. Additionally, right, so this is an estimate. Most of my observations are that this is low. Sometimes it can be, you know, three, four times higher because of long tail keywords that aren't necessarily noted. Now, when we take a look at uh, the traffic, it's mostly US, uh, about about 80% there, we see that the rankings were pretty low for a while. It, it looks like the site started in maybe early um, 2016 or late 2015, and then about a year later, it sort of jumped up. Now, by the way, I have seen you know that sort of behavior, uh, sandbox, and just having your site age is a valuable thing. And then we see a little further on, uh, looks perhaps this is a seasonal niche, but a little further on in uh, mid 2017, the traffic seemed to go up. Again, this is all based on estimates, uh, based on estimates for what the site is ranking for. So we can see down here, the site's ranking number one for several terms. Uh, it looks like the totals are roughly in the, you know, uh, under a thousand, so mid three figures, and they're all around football, snack helmets, NFL, NFL snack helmets, that sort of thing. So that gives us sort of a picture. It's ranking for very specific terms. I wouldn't necessarily call these buyers terms, but it's so specific that it's probably a good thing. So again, um, there's a few others on here, but those are you know within a full within the sort of premium membership in SEMrush. So. If you're interested in checking out a trial of some rush, I'll put a link below. I think typically you can get a seven day trial unless they change something with uh, you know their policy. The link below is my affiliate link and you should be able to get like a 14 day trial. Tons of excellent information in here. Okay, so let's start looking at the site. First, I'll tell you about three things that I like. So number one, I like that this homepage doesn't have like a, a super long like affiliate review. It's sort of like, you know, why have a snack helmet? It has like the hero image at the top and then some pictures of these snack helmets. Then, uh, you know, a few ideas and other, you know, th things like that, uh, I guess here. Then they put a YouTube video, which is nice. It looks like it's about uh, DIY Super Bowl treats apparently. And then they have like a, you know, a native, native ads from Amazon here. So th that's fine um, overall. I do have some suggestions, but we'll come back to those. So I do like that the homepage isn't affiliate, um, you know, an affiliate review. I see that a lot of times on these super niche sites. Now, as we're just looking around, we can go to the about page and it's by a guy named Jay. He's an Eagles fan and he explains why he has this site. This is great. I love this home page or this about page. It has a picture of Jay. It doesn't matter if that's him. That does look like it's probably, you know, a normal dude. And additionally, it explains like the origin of the site. 
and it establishes credibility and like authentic. It, it, it establishes credibility because he's actually a sports fan. So that's great. It's fairly short. He does have, it looks like, you know, another set of native ads here, which, yeah, that's fine. Um, you know, you're sort of guessing at the teams here, but it could get someone over to Amazon. Okay, as we're moving on, another thing that I like and I can sort of appreciate is they actually did good keyword research and we could tell because, you know, they're ranking number one for several terms and it's it's clearly very focused. So they they did good keyword research. We can see that. What I don't like, and I'll give you three things that I don't like now. So number one, it's way too narrowly branded, right? So football snack helmets. This is like how people were building sites in like 2007 and I mean, I wasn't even doing internet marketing then, but I mean, this is a very old way to do things. And I would say this site falls into the quote micro niche that sometimes people refer to. Um, I think it's a kind of a poor choice. It's short-sighted um, and I don't think it's the right way to do things. Now, if you're just, if you just want to get, you know, started and maybe test a little bit, that's okay. But like, I mean, it's just painting yourself in a corner. You really can't have much else on here besides football snack helmets. And let's face it, I mean, a lot of people don't care about these. I mean, I'm not a sports fan. I don't care about football or really any other sports either. So, or team sports anyway. So, I mean, a lot of people, it just wouldn't apply. When we look at the keyword research, there's a few hundred searches, but I mean, this is never gonna be a huge site. So that's, you know, something I don't like at all. On the homepage, I like that it wasn't affiliate content, but I don't like this big hero image. Um, it doesn't fit well, at least on my particular screen that I'm looking at now. It does show a helmet with some snacks in there, but it doesn't fit, and it's obviously like the wrong size for this specific theme. And I'd rather see like copy right away and just information. So it's a personal preference. The homepage actually doesn't matter too much, but this just doesn't, I mean, it looks like they don't care and they didn't try. So that's number two. And then the big thing, right? So the content really is lacking. So we have we have this sort of, uh, you know, homepage and then we'll go to the blog. So we have, Three snack ideas for your football snack helmet. Okay, fine. That's a good idea. And there's like two posts. Basically, there's like two posts here and that's it. The second one is about cleaning the helmet. And they're pretty short too. If I had to guess, that's like 300 words or something like that. Maybe not even that much. Uh, first one's a little bit longer. It'd be great to have pictures of tortilla chips, salsa, and hot cheese dip in the helmet or the Swedish meatballs and the Ikea stuff in the helmet, right? That just makes sense. It'd be way more interesting to have that in there. Or let's say they don't have that. I'm sure they got these ideas somewhere else. They could get a YouTube video and put it in there or have a picture of Ikea, just anything, right? Just make it look like you care about your content. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be something. So that is something they really need to work on. The content really isn't there. The next part that I'll point out, so let's just our, you know, snack helmet. So we'll go here. We'll just pick arbitrarily a team here. Let's pick, uh, I'm from Atlanta. Let's pick the Falcons here. So we have some information. They tell you about the team info. They tell you about the snack helmet info, which is good. And then some sort of a, a ranking here. I'm sure this is some sort of a, a plugin of some kind. Um, I'm not sure which one, but it looks like it, it's tied um, to, actually it's not tied to Amazon at all. It's their own ranking. So it's some plugin for reviews. And I mean, we have to imagine, right? The snack tray size, the helmet size and the helmet quality, and the team authenticity. Um, these are all the same, just with a different logo. So this, kind of is useless information, but interesting, right? So, I mean, when it comes down to it, there's not much you could put for individual teams, but it's interesting. At least there's snacks in this image over here. 
Um, so again, the content is sparse. I'm not sure how you would beef up the content or, I mean, actually, I'm not sure it really matters. So just a quick recap, what I like, I like the homepage didn't have affiliate content or at least it wasn't like an affiliate review. The about page was personal. It explained why the site was there. It had a picture of the founder of the site. The third thing that I like is it looks like they did keyword research, at least in a very narrow micro niche, if I may use the term. Things I didn't like, the site branding, way too small. They painted themselves in a corner and there's basically nothing you could do with this. It's also very seasonal. So just an aside, it's very seasonal, I would imagine, because a good portion of the year, they're no, like no one's having these snack party uh, or, or parties to have these football helmet snack deals. So um, the third thing that I didn't like a big one is there's not much content. So, I mean, that's sort of the, that's the thing, that's the engine that makes these sites go is content. If you have very little content, I mean, you're just not going to, you're limiting yourself. You're not going to get more traffic. So my suggestions based on those things. So number one, brand the site better, make it like just sports stuff that you could buy. People do buy a bunch of other stuff. You know, while I'm not a sports fan, I realize a lot of people are sports fans. Further, right, maybe there are other types of snack, um, like novelty snack holder things that you could do. So I, I don't know, I'm just gonna make stuff up. Maybe there's like a baseball, uh, you know, bat snack thing. Maybe that's an idea for someone. I'm not sure what other ideas I could come up with. Maybe some sort of NASCAR snack helmet deal. I have no idea. But the point is, if you brand it more generally, you can have these football snack helmets sort of like in a silo, if you will, of content, not by the pure definition, but you could just have different products that you focus on. And that allows you a lot more flexibility so that you could actually grow the site. You can't do much with this site. So that's the number one thing, branding. The second part and the major, you know, the other major thing is if you brand it more generally, you could add more content. So have actual reviews, perhaps, right? They have a ton of like how-to content on like tailgating and throwing parties for sports. And just based on that, I bet they can get tons of traffic. I mean, you can get recipes out there oriented towards like various teams. You could probably name the recipes after teams or players on the teams. I don't know any examples, but you could really put a lot of content out there and then funnel people over to the products that help you, you know, throw a party or tailgate or whatever. Um, quick note, I'm going to throw in a little bonus here in a second. So in their navigation, they have the helmets and then the teams. Great. So it's easy to find stuff. They have the about page. They have the get yours section here. So this get yours actually goes to Amazon and you'll see um, this actually is a, it's not clear that you're going to Amazon. They're cloaking the link. It's not cool. Um, you know, Amazon is not okay with that in general. There are some you know, different opinions, but in general, this is cloaking the link. It is unclear that I'm going to Amazon, but when I click the link, you'll see here, I do indeed get redirected to Amazon to this page with football snack helmets. It's just the search page. The other part, <clears throat> this one is slightly more clear is tailgate bundles. And I can see the link does go to Amazon uh, per the short link. So when I click on that, it is bundled up already and it's sport, you know, uh, bundles, uh, basically team bundles. So these are in the 350 range. And the thing is, this is not going to convert that well. So just from a marketing perspective, when I clicked on it, I was like, oh, tailgate bundles. Cool. But I don't have any idea what's in the bundle before I go to it. I don't know the price point or anything like that. In my head, I was like, oh, I'll spend like 50 or 60 bucks on like a bundle of stuff that's put together. But when I click over here, I'm thinking, damn, $350. I'm gonna have to check with my wife before I buy something that expensive. So it kind of like, you know, this first row here is a little much. As we scroll down, it becomes more manageable. So that part isn't as bad, but you know, if I'm just browsing around, and I see 350, I'm like, forget that. 
I got stuff to do and I'm out of here. So this concludes the review on the football snack helmets. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you like this style of review, a little quicker hit. I'm going to talk about what I like, what I don't like, and then suggestions. And by the way, the question of the day is, what did you like about this site? What did you not like about this site? And what would you change if it was your site? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to check out the comments, by the way. Some of the best suggestions, some of the best ideas are in the comments from the community. Thanks for checking out the video. And again, if it's the first time you've been around here, please consider subscribing.